Okay, what we're doing today, or what I'm doing today is, I've come to Kirby in Furness to record the changes that are and are about to be happening at both Kirby, at Chapels, at Dove Ford and Grisebeck. I think what I'll do is I'll do a long form video and a short one. I'll do both. The long form will have the uh, all the landscape prior to change and, and uh, construction and the short form will just be a quick drive through of the uh, of the new Grisebeck bypass I should say just so we can all remember what it used to be like now the first thing I just want to capture here is this is this milestone you don't often see this you know because often there's a car park there but look at that let's just get that while we're here So, Kirby Isleth on the top there, Broughton four and three quarter miles, it's not on the sunny side this one, it's saying Dalton, I uh, can't see how many miles, and Barrow ten, so would Dalton be seven? I'm not sure. It's a bit indistinct, it could be a 7. That's not going to change, that'll be, still be there. You can see frost in the grass, look. and there's new housing developments along the road here as well so there's lots going on and I just wanted to you know get the get the, the landscape backdrop of what it was before like I say that'll be in the long form video where I go up the hill above and take views looking down that sort of thing what's the betting here we have a new development you see what's the betting in 10 years time it will be houses all the way along here to wall end and chapels and places will lose their individual character won't they now so the new uh, Grisebeck Bypass, shall we say, the new roadworks, the A595 road improvement, the Grisebeck road improvement, is going to start happening just up here. Everybody will remember this, of course, this current road arrangement for let's see 60s 70 years 60 or 70 years it's been like this but here we are coming up to chapels now now the new road is going to start coursing across the hill just about where that give way sign is there just there Oof. just there Shoo and it's going to shoot across the terrain and bypass Dove Bank which we're coming to now now uh, and the bypass will be up there now on the 1850 6 inch OS map Dove Bank here was a malt kiln Here we go. This is what we're here for. Just to capture this. This sniggly little bit of road where you often have to stop and let a lorry by and 
you know it's often surprising isn't it how something like this can change and within a few years you'll forget all about the the, the niggledyness of it so that's why I'm here to record it I'm taking it easy because there's uh, black ice potentially now there's a 1826 a date stone on that barn I think it's I think it was that barn's not going to change and I want you to note the uh, the ponded water down there now the new road or, or shall I say this road is going to hump over uh, via a bridge over the new bypass which will be hacking through just about here Oh, oh look they're already starting to survey things aren't they they are you know I thought construction stuff was going to start in October 24 sorry October 23 or spring 24 looks like they're starting here we go Grisebeck you'll never drive through this again unless you want to you know what I mean Greyhound in right to our right was the uh, corn mill up there and just to our left here was a smithy this is from the 1850s OS map of course all good the new road will meet this road just down here now coming up on our right the new road will come here coming up on our right there was a sickle forge and then down here a malt kiln and a school up there oh sun right in my eyes ah oh, can they see I'm taking it dead easy because there's frost on the ground snow on the hills and there could be black ice so let me see if I can do a clever turn around here because that was a sharp left turn at an oblique angle, yes, fantastic. Oh. So what I'll do now is I'll go down the rat run, the mouse trap, I think they call it locally, and the new bypass will be coming over there behind Dove Farm and coursing through the landscape. Like I say, I've got a long, I'll, I'll do a short form video and a long form. The long form will show all the scenic backdrop. So we can remember what it once used to look like before it was modified. So here we are, down the mouse, tra mouse trap. And everybody will remember you have to wait here and let the cars come up or, and vice versa, you know. The new arrangement, this will be blocked off, it will just be for bicycles and pedestrians. So there will be no way you can rat run it anymore. Look at the frost on the roofs there, that's why I'm taking it easy, it could be black ice. Oh my good lord! I didn't know about that place coming down. This bridge will still be here, what does it say? Rebuilt 1903, Bank End Bridge. A concrete block there was that a churn stand maybe I'll come back the other way as well so we get the get the views both ways oh good lord getting sun in the eyes this is December 2022 we get low sun early in the afternoon don't we this time of year and it's dazzling see the frost in the grass there Yeah, the, the Dunelm construction crew are starting over there, aren't they? I'll do this whole thing in reverse now, so... There's the farm. The Ford, I mean. And I just want to articulate what I think is going on about the name of Dove Ford. This has just very, very recently been infilled. And this is like a semi-tidal stroke 
you know, on a high high spring tide, and also when there's lots of rain, it floods up. And in that field there, there's marshy grass. And I think in the old days, before the road level was elevated, there would have been a ford here. That's what I think. Oh, sorry, sir. That's why I think that that farm there is called Dove Ford. That's only my supposition. Here come some trucks. Oh, that's not going to come up my backside. Yeah, just here. This has just been infilled recently with rubble. And here you see marshy grass. It's a wet weather ford, I'm certain of it, or, or used to be back in the olden days, you know, when the roads were just uh, broken rock and, and earth, pack mules and cart horses. Yeah, all this will be closed off to motor traffic. Here we go, we're getting some of the flavour of it here, and you stop and wait and let someone go, and you know, every morning. There's a uh, hundred people commuting up, going northwards to Sellafield or Whitehaven. And every afternoon there's a hundred or more coming back down, <laughs> going back to Barrow and Alverston. Thank you. So yeah, I'm just trying to capture it before we lose it. It comes up big lorry. Whoa! And it's such an acute turn as it you struggle to see if it's clear or not. Oh well we didn't have an icy slip off, that's one thing. <laughs> Isn't it? And now we'll do this bit in the reverse direction too. Whew, you know the main road. Yeah we'll just do the reverse it reverse direction down the main road bit. So just round the corner, oh, there's a bloody lorry coming up my arse. Ah, that's nerve-wracking. Nerve so just round the corner here was a school. Probably operated up until the 40s or 50s, just there, dead ahead. I can't point, I've got a lorry up my bum. And down here is the malt kiln again. And like I said, there was the sickle forge and the hammer pond just up there but it was no longer there on the uh, on the 1919 OS so it's quite short-lived I'll let this lorry go by come on sir By the time of the 1919 OS, the mill up there was a sawmill. Here's the road where if you're coming one way with a truck and there's a truck going this way, as this one is just ahead of me, one would have to stop here by the... Oh, I can't see! One would have to stop by the community hall and let the other one go, or sometimes a bit snarl up, wouldn't they? Yeah, they're getting ready, you see, they're doing the groundworks. Surveying out. Like I say, this, this road will go, will go over the new road via a bridge, and it'll just be for local access to Dove Ford or to Dove Bank Beyond. You see the water down there, ponded every winter and high spring tide, especially when wet and high tide together, that would have been a ford and that's, that's why I think this was called the ford. That's only observational in my supposition. I don't think you can see anything on the camera, can you? I can't. <laughs> Blinding sun, dear good lord. And again, by the time of the 1919 OS, 
the malt kiln here at Dove Bank was no longer in being. And here we are, back to the beginning where the new road is going about to, to be taking off. saw these people there before. Now what we're going to do is just replicate the state of affairs prior to about the 1960s whereby the actual road used to come up here. Used to come up here and used to turn, you see the signpost there, the old signpost, used to turn deliberately left here if you're going to Grisebeck. And here's another feature which... Oh, get to you. Another feature here to prove it. I'll just stand out in my shadow. Milestone. See that? Kirby Isle. Dalton, eight miles. I think that says Broughton. Three and three and three quarter miles. I'll get some better imagery of that. And I'm certainly hoping that the new road works and any modifications here respect and maintain that. You know, it's important to keep these things, isn't it? I'll do more of a focused uh, research or record of this triangle area at chapels in the long form version because there's, a, there's quite a few features here that need recording but yeah what we're doing now is, is the old the original road this bit here there wouldn't have been a junction here you would have just gone straight across as we'll do in a second safe to do so. So there wouldn't have been this junction here. We, we were on the original road up until about 1960. And it actually went down here. You know this bit there is an earlier improvement shall we say. Yes. Is that a bit of tarmac there? I think it is, do you see? I'm driving sort of on tarmac. And you see the, the walls. It would have been a diddy little lane, you know. I bet if I was to root about under this grass that I'd find the odd cat's eye probably. Do you see that there? It's tarmac, isn't it? It's tarmac. So pretty soon we'll have three different versions of road here from different eras. Yeah. Do you see? Tarmac, mate. I just want to see a cat's eye, don't you? That would seal the deal, but it definitely is. So there you go. I suppose I ought to do this one in reverse as well, don't I? <laughs> you know. It may well be that the old an old Ford A34 or something or a, an early Morris Traveller might have uh, chugged along this version of the road back in the day. There we are, let's just have a look. See if we can find a cat's eye. I 
I can't see one. But it's definitely tarmac. Look at that. Without a doubt, it's tarmac. You know? <laughs> Sun in the eyes, oh dear. Yeah. So this was road version 1. We're now coming up to join road version 2. version 3, we'll just be going just there. Ah. There we are, back in the 1940s. Oh, we've come to a junction. I know, let's go to Barrow and Finesse for a day out. <laughs> you know. Oh, yikes. Okay, here we go. The long version will have more history about this area and everything going on.